Okay guys, so let's look at a typical GCSE exam style question for solving equations. So this is from an AQA past paper, okay, uh, AQA exam paper, and it's an exam style question on solving linear equations, specifically solving a two-step linear equation. Okay, so solve 10x equals 62.4 minus 3x okay it is actually calculate paper guys here so, so it is actually like a calculator based question okay i'm gonna add 3x to both sides to balance the equation respectively 10x plus 3x goes to 13x and then that's going to equal to 62.4 now i want to get x by itself guys so i'm going to divide both sides through by 13 so doing that gets me my value of x okay so working this out guys to the side okay or with your calculator 62.4 divided by 13 well 13 into 6 i can't do 13 into 62 well that, that's going to go four times i believe sorry five times remainder four okay because 13 fives are going to be 58 i believe is that right? Let's double check. Sorry, quickly. Um, 13 fives are going to be 5. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 plus the 1. Is, sorry, 65. Sorry, so it should be... It should be 4, sorry. So that would be 52. Remainder 10. 13 into 104. So put a decimal point there. Okay. So 13 times 4 is... 52 so 13 times 8 gives me 102 so your answer is x is equal to 4.8 and that's the solution to that equation okay now i did do it by like a bus stop method but i kind of yeah it, uh, what i could do is just enter that into my calculator 60.4 divided by 13 and you get an answer of 4.8 okay but it's, it's always good to have that check here and work out your answer to the side okay in case it ever appears on a non-calculator okay you will have like a method there okay so yeah just to be clear guys 13 into 6 goes 0 times 13 into 62 goes 4 times 13 fours are 52 Okay, with a remainder of 10, 13 into 104. Well, 104 is double 52, so it would be double of 4, so it would be 8. So 13 eights are 104, so my final answer is just 4.8. Okay, and it's a two mark question because it requires two steps to solve the equation. First step is to add 3x to both sides and then divide through by 13 to work out the answer for x okay so make sure that you are happy with these sorts of questions that appear on your exam guys okay for gcse higher and foundation and this topic is looking at algebra specifically solving linear equations okay involving algebra okay that's it guys okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one okay bye for now